Hey there, welcome to Limbo. Hmm? Uh, right, right, I should introduce myself. Hey, I'm Ramus, or Ramy to my friends. But yeah, you are uh, kind of stuck here in Limbo right now. It's right between heaven, hell, and all that other, you know, eldritch bullshit. That's all in between. What happened? Well, you know, you tried to give a present to that dumb asshole that you're in love with, and he kind of exploded at you in front of all of his dumb asshole friends. And then, you know, said friends thought that it'd be really funny to handcuff you to a radiator over the weekend. And they kind of forgot that it was supposed to be, you know, like a four-day weekend, so... Yeah. Oh, I don't know how you died. They don't tell me that. Right, I mean, but my guess would be either, you know, starvation or dehydration. I mean, especially after all that crying that you did. <laughs> yeah, when people found you, you were just barely alive. And they rushed you down to the hospital, but, you know, <laughs> you're kind of stuck here with me now, so... I think you can see how well that worked. Yep. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Terrible shame, really. I mean, you are a cute one. Oh, okay, let me give you some freebies now. So we don't have to go through, like, the whole, you know, questionnaire thing you got going on in your head. No, that asshole has not come to the hospital. Uh, your parents? Like, they gave up the second the doctor said you were in a coma. Right, I mean, I gotta admit... I've been alive for a long ass time, and I don't think I've ever seen one person surrounded by so many douchebags. I mean, you poor little bright eyed thing. Oh, why am I here? Well, normally I would be here out of, you know, curiosity. Hell is kind of boring. Right, you see, demons like me, we're meant to come up here and kind of tempt human beings like you into these sorts of, you know, scenarios. But this time it's a bit different. You see, good old Lou, well, I mean, he took one look at your case and he said to me, Raimi, for fuck's sake, you go get this one. Right? I mean, I'm serious. You got good old Lucifer himself to feel bad for you. That is an accomplishment. I haven't seen him send someone out personally to, like, get someone for, like, more than two centuries. I mean, he must have looked at you and thought that you were, like, a special kind of pathetic. Since he sent me here. Yep, that's me. Your number one demon with terrible jokes and a love for leather jackets. Like this one. Yeah, I mean, I took this off some, like, Hell's Angels guy that got fed to a wood chipper. No, I didn't do it. It was his wife that did it. I just watched, right? I was there with my popcorn, some sodas, and a brand new stolen leather jacket. I mean, what can I say? I just kind of dig the biker look. It's my thing. Hmm. Do I want your soul? <sighs> Bright eyes. No, no, no. I do not. I want you to get revenge over all the douchebags in your life. Oh yeah, you do. You do want revenge. I wouldn't be here if you didn't. Right now inside of you, there's this delicious inferno of hatred and rage and sadness. No, you see, what I want to do is to give you your life back. I want to pretend to be your boyfriend and watch as you rain destruction and woe down upon every single motherfucker in your life. Oh, and I, I want to play with your cat. Right, I want to pet Sparkles. Because you're, I, I've watched some of your memories and your cat is amazing. Why pretend to be your boyfriend? Well, that's so I can be there in person to see what's going to happen. I'm a real reactionary kind of guy, if you catch my drift. No? Well, I mean, yeah, me neither. But hey, you gotta admit, I'm pretty sexy. Right? 10 out of 10, and I am definitely better than your stupid, abusive, 
douchebag crush. Personally, I think that you and me could have a lot of fun together. I mean, I can take you out on actual proper dates and flatter you and spoil you and make you happy. And you? You get to see the look on their faces while the hottest guy in town kisses your lips off. I mean, can you even picture the look on his face? Oh yeah, it would blow his tiny little sundere mind right out of the back of his tiny little stupid head. <laughs> there was that temptation that I was looking for. I can see it in those um, very pretty eyes of yours. <clears throat> anyway, now hear this mortal. I will be a gentleman to the best of my ability. I cannot guarantee you that I will not be cackling like a hyena, watching their stupid little lives implode around them. I cannot guarantee you that I will not be possessed by random urges to break shit around me. And I absolutely promise you that I will not be able to not flirt with you at any given opportunity. It's just who I am, take it or leave it. I am perfect and I am not changing. For anybody. What will happen if you accept? Well, if you accept, I'm going to uh, cup that pretty little face of yours. I'm going to slide my tongue down your throat and seal the deal between us. Typically, your eyes will change to reflect my presence in your life. Now, glowing red eyes are fairly normal, but I've definitely seen some stranger effects happen. Point is, you will be mine, in a sense. I will give you back your life, and you will let me be part of it for my own sick and twisted amusement. And maybe, you know, you'll let me take you out on a date once or twice. Yeah? Sound good? Now, listen, this right here is just an offer. No one is forcing you to do anything you don't want to do. If you don't want any part of this, that's perfectly fine. You can simply say no, and you can pass on in peace. At that point, you will go up or down, whatever you were meant to do in the first place. I mean, hey, if you go down, it's really not as bad as you think it's going to be. I promise. And if you wind up near my hometown, I mean, maybe you and me can go for coffee or something. Though, fair warning, the coffee will sometimes... scream. <laughs> Good choice. Now come here and open wide. Yes, yes, open up, just like if you were at the dentist. I'm sorry, sometimes I drool when I'm excited. So... It's a deal then. Now don't worry. This will only hurt for a moment. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay, bright eyes. It's okay. It's all over now. There we go. Welcome back to the mortal coil. So, tell me, honestly, how do you like your new boyfriend? Huh? Skin not quite so red, horns tucked away, and tail, um, also tucked away. Well, I'm happy to hear that you like it. Now, come on, bright eyes, you just take my hand because I'm going to teach you every bit of dark magic that I know. Now, let's go and, uh, and, um... I'm sorry, it's just your eyes. I don't think I've ever seen anyone with eyes quite like yours. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. I can already tell. Now, let's go ruin some lives, fall in love, and play with your cat. There's somebody doing road work, like, right outside of my apartment window. 
and it feels as though they just tried to fuck up everyone on my recordings. <laughs>